Morning everybody. Uh, it's a bit since we've used motorhome now. I'm going to go down to the storage yard and just check it out and take it for a little run out into uh, the Peak District. Uh, charge leisure batteries up etc. I think last the last time we used the motorhome was when we uh, win hauls. So uh, it's ready for a little run out. Charge its batteries up. I'll check everything's okay in it. And uh, I'll go for a little run out into Peak District. Uh, and that'll be it for this year. Anyway, I'll see you at the storage yard. Right, so here we are. Not looking too bad to say it's over a month since we used it. It does get quite mucky down here because of uh, trees and that round. Well, there's quite a few black marks up there. But it's not worth washing it if you're not going to use it. Right, a quick look round. See if everything's alright. It's looking alright. Tyres, at least if you take it for a run, you could put tyres in a different position. Charge vehicle battery up, hopefully it'll start. Yep. That's looking okay. Right, so I'll look inside and what I'll do is I'll drive around with heated on. Luckily it's got a diesel heater so you can run that while you're driving. Right, see how cold it is in here. Wonder how much power we've got in battery as well. Last time I used it. Everything's looking good. Same as how I left it. There's not a lot of moisture in moisture traps actually. It's not too bad on that one. There seems to be more in the bathroom for some reason, but it's not an issue. Right, right. let's turn the power on. And see what power we've got in the leisure battery. Actually, that's not bad, so I haven't used it. Fertile battery. Oh, yeah, definitely wants charging. Right, it is a bit of a pain for me to do this every time you come down, but we'll take the bed up, put the ladder back in, close all the cupboards. I'll not bother filming these because you get a bit bored of that, won't you? Right, let's see where the engine starts up. Fingers crossed. Looking at the power in the battery, we should have enough. Yes! That's good. I didn't think we were going to go then. We'll turn that off. I don't forget to hold off for uh, copyright. Right. Open the windows. Lines. Let that warm up a bit. Right. So I'll do rest at most home. And then we'll go for a little run out into Peak District. Uh, probably stop by at Lady Bower Dams for a bit and then uh, come back. So it's giving it a good hour's run. And then that'll be it till after Christmas. At least it'll charge everything up. Right. We're all ready for the off now. What I'll do is I'll just turn the uh, diesel heating on, get some heat into it while we're driving round. And then we'll go for a little drive. Right, I'll put the diesel heating on.
fuel quarter off right that eating should kick in in a bit now and we'll go early and we're warming up right right so that's everything now all closed up Nothing loose hanging about. All the cushions are back against the wall again. Right, a little bit of heat going first and then off we go. Right, here we are on the road. We've just got to go into Sheffield first and then uh, shopping centre now but like you say it's mostly uh, like most shopping areas now it's charity shops, estate agents or betting offices it's been able to get all sorts down here electrical goods, shoes men's clothing, ladies clothing this is on the left which is where I uh, some bits and bobs when I need them. Right, here we are, we'll drive out into countryside now. I can't believe that it's nearly one year, it will be on Saturday, since I stopped travelling this way to work. I used to work at the cement plant out in uh, the Hope Valley. And uh, I retired, I took early retirement on the 22nd of December. So on Saturday it will be one year since I packed in work. And I've never looked back, it's one of the best decisions I ever did. Right, just around this corner is the Lady Bower Inn. Uh, it used to, when I used to go to work, there used to be motels parked in car parks, used to stop overnight. It does a good meals about there. Usually park in the car park on the, the other side of the roof, so you get a lovely view over the uh, dams. Back on the dams are a bit low though. Right, what I'll do, what I'll do is I'll turn round and we'll have a little park on the uh, this left hand side here. Both there's some spaces. I hope my eating's blowing well. I'll have to turn that down a bit. Oof, really well. Right, I think we'll turn that down a little bit. 15. 14. Still clicking in. 13. 12. So it's 12 degrees in here. 
Right, here we are, this is Lady Bow Reservoir. This is where they do the dam buster flyovers. What a beautiful morning. Bit better than yesterday, with torrential downpours all day yesterday. A bit better now, it's had a run out. She's ready for a wash though, bless her. Horses. Hello. Hi, Bouty. Hello. Hmm. Should put my walking boots on. I could have gone for a longer walk. This dam's very low. Uh, I don't know what the other two's further up. You've got Derwin and Alden further up. One of them's got a sunken village. Money. This dam has a sunken village as well. Uh, I think we were Ashipton they used to call this one. There's, uh, I think it's across up the other bridge. You see parts of the dry stone walls which belong to the fields and that over that end. Right, so I hope you like that little walk. And uh, we'll get back to boat home now. I'm going back to the storage yard. Hello. Right, so here we are. Back at Iris. Let's get her back to the storage yard. Right, so here we are, back at... Uh, storage yard. I'll open up all the cupboards and that and I'll show you what I've done again and then that's it until next year. <laughs> oh I do miss going out in this motorhome. Anyway I'll get on with uh, opening all the cupboards and that and dropping the bed down and, and then we'll go back home and we'll have some dinner. I should have taken some dinner with me shouldn't I really. Could have sat out, <laughs> sat and looked at the view out at the Lady Bower. I didn't plan that at all very well did I? No I didn't. Never mind, it's one of them things. Right, right, so that's everything as it was when I come down. All the cushions off the back walls, all the cupboards open, the bed dropped down a bit and the mattress just propped open a little bit, let a bit of airflow through. Power down for the last down this year. And we'll lock her all up and we'll see you, Iris, in 2019. And hopefully, we we'll managed to get away in January, but I'm not 100% sure whether we will or not. Right, I'm going to go home and have some dinner. Right, uh, I hope we enjoyed this little video. It's just what I do when we're not using motorhome. Just take it for a little short run. It, as you can see, it charges uh, things up, keeps your wheels turning, etc. And uh, it's just enjoyable to go for a drive. Anyway, all I've got to do is say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, Please give me the thumbs up, uh, click the notification bell, that'll inform you of when I ever upload some other videos. And uh, please leave a comment, and also I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, and here's looking forward to 2019. We've got lots and lots of things planned, and a big adventure which I'll tell you about at a later date. Anyway, bye for now. Bye. Have a good Christmas, all of you. Goodbye.